So the next problem I want to consider is something I like guess. Let's convert 55 miles per hour feet per second. Now, first off, when you're given something like this, what it really is saying is 55 miles per one hour. We want to send this to feet over seconds. So there's two conversions we want to do here. We want to turn miles into feet and then turn hours into seconds. And again, there's different approaches to this. So I'm going to go about it two different ways. First, I'm going to do this. I'm going to where I do the chain or the connection of all the different ratios. So first off, for miles, have this relationship with feet. There's a direct relationship. One mile is 5,280 feet. Now, hours and seconds are a little tricky. One hour is 60 minutes. And then one minute is 60 seconds. So again, this is one of those things where you can convert hours to seconds, either doing it stepwise, go hours to minutes for step one, and then minutes to seconds for step two. Or you can attach the different ratios, chain them together. And I'm going to do the chaining approach um, for this. But there, a you can again use the step by step when it comes to miles and feet and time, hours to seconds also. Now you use step by step for the hours to seconds also, that's perfectly fine. Um, but suppose we're going to do this. Let's do the chain method. Well, we want to convert, say, miles first. We want to turn them into feet. So that means we need the miles on the bottom and the feet on top. And now the miles will cancel, the feet remain, so that means we're doing this correctly. But now I need to turn hours into seconds. Now notice the feet are on top, like they are here. So we're on the right track. Now we need to turn hours into minutes. So I'm going to tack on the next link in this chain. And I want hours to cancel and minutes to remain. Now hours will only cancel if, because hours are on the bottom, they now need to be on top. Remember, we want them on opposite sides of, well, our fraction bar. So I'm going to do this. One hour equals 60 minutes. Bottom top, we're OK. We're on the right track. And notice we've improved things. We've gone from miles per hour to feet and minutes. These are the two that remain. But we need to turn minutes into seconds. One minute is 60 seconds. And again, we need to guarantee that minutes will cancel. Well, that only happen if the minutes are on top because the minutes are on the bottom here. So what do we have? Well, once we clean up all the cancellations, 55 over 1 times 5,280 over 1 times 1 over 60 times 1. And this is going to be 60 this is feet, actually. Let me back up. And then 1 over 60 seconds. Or I could just use S like I'm using here. And that's an S for seconds, not a five. So what we can do is this. We can 
Well, basically multiply by these fractions, 55 over 1 times 5,280 over 1 times 1 over 60 times 1 over 60, and then tack on a feet on top of seconds at the very end. So putting us into the trusty calculator, the one I know how to use, 55 divided by 1 times 5,280 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 60 times 1 divided by 60. And what we end up getting is 80.67, again, rounding to the hundreds place. And then I have feet above, seconds below. So feet above, seconds below. Or 80.67 feet per second. Now, there's another way you could go about this. And we could do stepwise. In fact, I'll do a purely stepwise approach. Where the first step, We'll go miles to feet. For the second step, we'll go hours to seconds. And then lastly, we'll take the feet that we have, divide by the seconds, and that'll give us our answer. So let's do that. First step. Fifty five miles. And again, we're going to use this relationship that one mile. Five thousand two hundred and eighty. We want miles to cancel, so we need the miles to be in the bottom and the feet to be on top, so feet remain. So we better set it up like this. Boom, boom. And so what we have in the end, 55 times 5,280 feet divided by one. So my calculator, I'll put in 55 times 5,280 divided by one, and then just tack on feet. And the answer I get is 290,400 feet. So I'm going to put that off to the side. The next step, let's go hours. The second, and I'll do this stepwise also. So first off, we need to go hours to minutes. And then stepwise, we'll go minutes to seconds. So this will be like 2A will be hours to minutes. So 55 miles per one hour. We want to convert one hour to seconds, and we're going to use the relationship that, well, to minutes first. That one hour is 60 minutes. Part A is we convert the hour to minutes. Part B is we turn the minutes to seconds. And again, same thing. We want hours to cancel and minutes to remain. So that means hours got to be in the bottom. And then 60 minutes on top. So these cancel. So 1 times 60 divided by 1 is going to be 60, and we'll just tack on minutes at the end. So we get 60 minutes, which, all right, fair enough. I mean, 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. OK. Now for part B, 2B, let's go 60 minutes 
we want to turn it into seconds. So we have the relationship that one minute is 60 seconds. So we want minutes to cancel and leave seconds behind. Minutes is in the top, so that means we need to put the one minute here below. And then the 60 seconds has to go on top. And so the minutes cancel. And what we're left with is 60 times 60 seconds divided by one. Or in our calculator, we go 60 times 60 divided by one and just tack on the seconds at the end. And what we'll get is 3,600 seconds. And so we've done step two. Now step three, we take the feet we found in step one, divide by the seconds we found in step two. And we get the same answer. Approximately 80.67 and the feet above, seconds below, feet per second. And that's it. So when you have multiple units you want to converge, um, con convert, you can do it using the, the link of ratios, the chain link of ratios, or you can convert one of those, say the miles to feet, and then the hours to seconds, and then combine them at the end. So that's it. Any questions, let me know.